But one thing I will notice, uh, and that I'm actually quite thankful for, is that, you know, if Pierre Elliott Trudeau's legacy is Justin Trudeau, well, then I'm very thankful that George Manuel and Art Manuel's legacy is Canahoo's manual, because every time you see the Manuel family and others meet them toe to toe on every issue. So, you know, Justin Trudeau thought, oh, I'll just buy the pipeline and then nobody can say anything. Yeah, while well, Tiny House Warriors has a lot to say about it and so do a whole lot of other native people. And so, you know, for every impediment, for every barrier, for every politician that works against us, we have warriors to meet the challenge. And I think people need to see that, honor it and celebrate it more. And what has fundamentally changed? And not, not a whole lot has fundamentally changed on their part. And all I am saying is that thank goodness that the manual values haven't changed either and that they're inspiring other people to stand up and resist because every time something negative happens to us, we stand up and resist. And we have to celebrate every little bit of success. So every day that a pipeline is delayed, that's a success. That's a battle that we've won and we need to celebrate that instead of, you know, what the government wants us to think, oh, it's too big, it's too overwhelming, we'll never be able to stop it. That's not what matters. The warriors on the ground are involved in a day-to-day -day battle. You won that one court case, great. You stopped them today, great. You won them in the media today, great. Every one of those are battles that we need to celebrate. Like um, what was happening in George Manuel's time, in Art Manuel's time. And, and to me, that is what's really fundamental. And so I think between Pierre Elliott Trudeau and Justin Trudeau, they might not have changed a whole lot, but thank goodness we haven't either and we'll be there to meet them on the ground every single time because of families like the Manuel family and many other families across this country who have held on to our indigenous values and are here to protect the land because it's not just for us, it's for the whole, I mean, it's literally for the whole planet and, you know, Canadians, Americans and others, um, thank goodness they're rallying behind us because they see there is no future unless you support this side of the battle, which is about indigenous land and protecting the ecosystems and the planets for everybody and literally about human rights and safety. So that's my assessment of the Trudeaus. They, were, they have been and continue to be matched quite admirably by the manuals.